I really want to give you encouragement every day. I want to tell you that you'll be able to do something that you couldn't possibly do if you just set your mind to it and be determined to actually do that. But I also want to tell you the truth. A lot of what you're going to experience is what I say on this channel, what I talk about. Whether it is doing um, some sort of degree or maybe it's doing some sort of entrepreneurial venture or doing something that requires leadership, that requires strength in your life. And a lot of the battles that you face are not necessarily the things that you're going to interrupt or that you're going to face between you and somebody else, but it's going to be the battles that are going on in your head the things that you're thinking about and the little looks that you get from other people or being excluded in a certain way that you would never have thought that you would, would have been excluded from. All of this stuff, this stuff that I talk about, is very real. It's very much the experiences that you go through. And I'll tell you that you can do it. And that's what I am, that's the message of this entire channel is letting you know that, hey, you know what, if you grew up in the middle of nowhere, you don't really have a heck of a lot of stuff that you set your mind, you think about things in a certain way, and you just have that determination. You get up every day and you push forward and you push all of that stuff aside and you think, I can do this, I can get up, I can study if I'm in school. I can get up and pursue this entrepreneurial venture. I could do this thing that I'm going to stick out like a sore thumb and look weird. And everybody is going to laugh at me, but I'm going to do this anyways. If I can get you to think about that and get you to think that all of this is the real thoughts that you're going to have. And it's the truth of it. There's a lot of days where you're going to have a lot of dark days. But you get up and you do it anyways the next day. If I can show this, if I can demonstrate, if I can walk you through that all of this is just normal. This is the process. This is how you manage it. Use those dark thoughts and the way that people react to you in different ways. You turn that around and use that as the strength, the power, the negative emotions that you feel, the, the spite, the, the ostracism or whatever that you feel, you turn that around and you use that as your inner strength. There's, there's this really interesting sort of set of literatures and, and, and ideas about how groups that are isolated from society, how they turn that around, they turn that into their strength, whether that they're LGBTQ or whether they are uh, of a certain ethnicity, they turn it around and they turn it into their strength and their identity becomes that particular thing. I want you to sort of use that strength. Now, you can either sit there and observe, absorb all of the negativity and let it get to you and be like the 99, 999 other people that have done the exact same thing before you, or you turn it around and you use that be that one person that turns it around and, and pushes forward and redefines the category in which you're actually in and see this particular thing. If I could do that, I think that would be really cool. And all of this, this takes an enormous amount of strength. You don't know, you don't realize that this is highly unusual in the academic game. I think I'm probably the only one, maybe that there's a few others, but particularly in my field, that this is, I'm the only one that's actually doing this and walking you through this thing. Yes, I do stick out like a sore thumb. And yes, I do have many conversations with other very talented individuals that would say that they would never do this kind of stuff because that they're afraid to do it or they're afraid to speak out about who they are in, inside for very good reasons. We have a lot of stuff that we're carrying forward and we're projecting in a different ways. And we have to learn how to deal with that. I want you, I hope, as you're walking through this, as you're seeing this, that, hey, you can have the strength to be yourself and you can stand up and have that, that, that inner strength and do that sort of courageous thing that you would never do. 
and just get up and do it and be raw, be awkward, be weird, be whatever, all of those kind of things that you're afraid to do and stand up. It is a tough thing. I think a lot of us are used to conforming to the way that we should be and the way that, that whether it's your family, I was going to say the way society wants you to be, but honestly, it's very often just people that are very close to you in terms of maybe it's your family, maybe it is the immediate people that you work with and how they think that you should behave and what you should look like and all of those kind of things. But you can stand up, be yourself, and just go do cool things. I think if I can get you to see that, that yes, it is raw. Yes, there's a lot of days that you don't feel like doing things, but you do it anyways. If I can see, get you to see that, that building this entrepreneurial venture, it's messy. Sticking out like a sore thumb in academia, it's messy. It's hard to do, but I'm going to do it because I think it's important for everybody else to see and realize that it's all right to be yourself. All right, take care and keep going. Don't stop, all right? I think it's important for you to keep going and demonstrate to everybody else that you're just as good as those people around you or what you think that you actually are. Don't you dare stop.